Okay, so now now you're actually taking rap seriously, and the jail guys are rapping, but not really in the streets. Yeah, not really in the streets. I'm not, I'm talking about, nobody really in the streets even knew I rap. I mean, it was one day, it was a guy named Rick. He got a uh, heavy spitters. He used to do the DVD stuff, whatever. He had a, he had a camera. And he was talking about this guy named Spud, my friend who, who rapped. And I was like, I'm better than him. Like, I was known for doing robbery. So they're like, you don't rap, man. I start rapping. They say, oh, you can really rap. Like, and I guess hearing people give you a compliment about something that you're doing, especially at a time when you know, you're going through a lot, it made me like, oh, I like this. And I started like, taking it super serious to the point, like, I'm talking about that's all I did. I mean, like, all I did. Like, I mean, and it worked. <laughs> but I wouldn't even tell nobody, like, if you t I wouldn't even tell a girl I rap back then. You know, now everybody want to be a rapper. Back then, you told a girl you rap, she look at you like it was crazy, especially in Philly. You rap, bro. You pack it at you. I mean, so like I was embarrassed to tell a girl I rap, I mean, or anybody like that, because it wasn't the cool thing to be doing. I don't know where I came up with that idea, because it was like a one in a million chance for it to work. Like, uh, okay, so at this time, did you know any of the state property guys? No. No, I ain't know none of them. I ended up knowing Sparks like later on, like maybe a couple years later, like maybe a year later. I mean, but I ain't know, no, no, I didn't know state property guys. Because, you know, guys in state property, we only had a few rappers. We had like, you know, Major Figures was out at the time. Gilly was out. Uh, there was only a few rappers and none of the people in state property wasn't wasn't one of them. I mean, so I didn't, I mean, yeah, it was, so it was, I didn't know them guys at all. So, and I was just trying to, you know, trying to get on. I mean, so. But in, okay. my, in my mind, it was going to work. I, you know, how you, I guess I willed it to happen, like, spoken into existence. I said I was going to get signed by Jay-Z. That's what I used to tell my friends. This is just, that's what I used to say. They like, oh, get, man, get out of here, man. Ain't, <laughs> but I, I mean, so, like, I guess when you don't got no hope, you make hope in your head. <laughs> you mean? Well, at one point, you drove six hours to go meet Jay-Z in Boston. Boston. Yep, in Boston, right? Boston, yep. And this is just what, just you by yourself? Or no, you it was me and my manager or? at the time. Okay. And we get there, when we get there, he walking out the back door, right? Kishan come out the back door. I'm rapping to him while he walking to the van. So maybe like 40 seconds. <laughs> he get in the car and pull off. So I drove all the way to Boston just for 40 seconds. I mean, that's how hungry I was. <laughs> I mean, so like, and I was happy. And I didn't feel like it was a waste. I feel like, yes, I rapped. Even though nothing happened, like, you <laughs> know, when I asked him later on, when I started knowing him, did he remember? He said, no, I ain't remember. <laughs> so. You mean? I mean, yeah. I mean, you know how it is. I mean, how many people have walked up to you rapping that you just completely forgot about? But see, kids you these know? days don't know what the hunger that it take back to five was back then. They got the internet. They got. They could just put their music up, upload it. They could just become. Back then, you had to really hustle hard, like to try to even to, to get nowhere. You mean? It was so they they don't they don't really understand how good they got it these days. You mean?